Hey everybody, we're here at Preston Adventures. Uh, we were in the area, so me and my brother decided to do a bro day and head to Disney's Hollywood Studios. And we got here for Rope Drop. We were actually the first car in the parking lot, and this is what Rope Drop looks like at Disney. Hey, we did it. We're in. Lots of people, lots of people waiting to have a good time. Um, actually, we were up, well, I was up at like four o'clock this morning stressing about getting a boarding group at Rise of the Resistance. Uh, if you don't know, Rise of the Resistance is like the, the top ride here at Disney World. Um, it's actually only done by virtual queue. So what you have to do, you have to go through the app and you have to, uh, it's almost like a lottery. You have to uh, register yourself and see if you can get a boarding group. And we were able to get boarding group number 14, um, which is pretty good. So we'll see what happens. Here we go. And here we go, rope drop. We are amongst the sea of people racing the Slinky Dog Dash. And that's where we're gonna hit first because usually that's one of the longest lines here from what I've researched. I haven't been to Disney since 2001 and a lot has changed. Um, so we're gonna experience this together. Hey Woody, reach for the sky. And that dinosaur toy up there, that's Rex. How's it going, Rex? My video game experience. <laughs> Slinky Dog Dash. Our cab is here. Oh, here we go. Slinky Dog Dash is definitely worth the hype. What'd you think, Matt? It was great. It was a good ride. Up next is Toy Story Mania. We're gonna go ahead and knock out all the stuff in Toy Story Land first. And then uh, we'll see where our boarding group lands at Rise of the Resistance. And then after that, I, mean, I don't know, maybe Tower of Terror. Um, but we're gonna try to do every single ride today in Hollywood Studios. That's the challenge, do every single thing. We'll stay here until the park closes if we need to. It's a rough time. It's rough being at Disney World all day, but I think we can handle it and we're gonna knock it out. Never 
vlog like this before. <laughs> Matt beat me, but he got lucky. I did not get lucky, I'm better. That tires your arm out. <laughs> <laughs> that was so much fun. I never want to do that again. It's not over I yet. Didn't even, I didn't even really pay attention to the ride. I was just trying to beat you. Yeah, me too. Look, what are we doing now? I hated the ride. All right, they're boarding groups one through 10 on Rise of the Resistance, and we're group 14. It says return in 25 minutes. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna start heading that way because we have no idea where it is. All right, we've seen most of what Toy Story Land has to offer. Now we're gonna head our way down to Taboo, which is the Star Wars section of the park. And we are going to locate Rise of the Resistance so we know where to go when our boarding group gets called. Um, I'm starting to get a little hungry. Look at the line for that ride with so rope dropping is definitely the move because we're not even in Toy Story Land anymore and this is the line for Slinky Dog Dash. It goes all the way to the front of the park. That is crazy. Starting to see the lines for everything, for the rides. Uh, I'm so glad we rope dropped. It made it so much more worth it. I mean, we already did two rides and the park has only been open for 22 minutes. Um, so if you're coming to Disney, make sure you rope drop. Um, but now I'm waiting on my brother to use the restroom. It's kind of like taking an eight-year-old to Disney World. Got to wait for the man baby to go pee-pee. And then uh, we're going to check out and see uh, where Rise of the Resistance is so we have no issues when our boarding group gets called. And then, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens after that. We don't really have many plans after the boarding group um, because Rise of the Resistance is the main reason we wanted to come here because uh, the hype around this ride is crazy. Um, so I, I think we're gonna have a great time and we're gonna ride it and I'm gonna try to film as much as I can while still enjoying it because that's what it's all about right We have made it to the queue of Rise of the Resistance, baby. This is what it all comes down to. It's what we've been training for. This is dope. Thank you for joining the course. Okay, guys. 
Resistance team, led by my friend Finn, has infiltrated a First Order Star Destroyer that is now headed to this system. Your outpost on Batu is no longer safe. We have transports waiting to take you to General Organa's secret base on Pakara. I'll regroup with you there. The Resistance desperately needs your help in our fight against Kylo Ren and the First Order. Remember, it is vital that you keep the location of the Pakara base secret. Lieutenant Beck, one of our top commanders, will lead you. Affirmative. Transport is ready. Nine of and I shall personally see them delivered. Thank you, Lieutenant. Welcome to the cause. May the force be with us. Commander Paul Dan. Oh, on the vessel, Will. This is your final call at port. I'm getting a high reading on the fuel pressure line. That's better. Check the binary motivator. Yes, I just want to be sure. The <laughs> recruits must be on board now. Transport is away in 30 seconds. All ships, launch. with getting you to Vakara. Red 2, Blue 5, keep tight now. Let's get ready to make that jump to light speed. On my mark. I'm working it. Better than that. Black Leader, we're picking up an unusual signal. Are you spotting anything? Yeah, I see it. We'll check it out. BB-8, what do you got? There appear to be a number of small craft heading our way. Raise the shields. We got company. First order of TIE fighters. We run. We run. so we can make the jump. Be ready, you won't have much time. Where are all those TIE Fighters coming from? <laughs> Star Destroyers. <laughs> we can't. We're caught in the tractor beam. It's pulling us in. Oh, it's a fight. It's a fair fight. Don't worry, I'll come back for you. Stay strong. Cargo vessel TR-141, identify yourselves and prepare to be boarded. This is TR-141. We are a civilian vessel. By whose authority are we being detained? By the authority of the First Order, resistance scum. Now bring down your shields and prepare to be boarded. Attention, resistance traders. This transport belongs to the First Order now. All of you, get out and proceed to interrogation at once. <laughs> jail cell. Leave us. Yes, General. Enemies of the First Order, we will soon snap out your meager resistance. You chose the wrong side, and now you will pay. The resistance prisoners, you have what I want. You know the location of the secret base. And I will take it from you. We are needed on the bridge. Keep the prisoners here. 
I will return to finish this personally.
Let's get him in a little off target. Ground crews will meet you outside the wreck. That's so crazy. <laughs> All right, nice job, recruits. Not what you sign on for, but hey, your assistance now. I think I have that authority. Right, Beck? Where's the lieutenant? I need eyes on Beck. Right now, scatter his pocket. Four escape pods down in sector four. of the resistance base is secure. Bravo! <laughs> yes, R5, you too. <laughs> okay, honest review, I'm at a loss for words. There's technology in that ride that I've never seen before, and I go to a lot of theme parks. That right there was phenomenal. What'd you think, bro? Phenomenal. It was great. Ah! 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 Ah!
open drivers fail. Pilots, evasive maneuvers. We've got company. To his right. We cannot let them follow us back to the resistance. He's the last. Who did it? Watch out! Oh, 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 oh. That is going to be the nice. Smugglers 1 was a blast. Um, I almost liked it as much as Rise of the Resistance because it was so interactive and it didn't hurt that I was with a really fun bunch of uh, people. Uh, they were really friendly and excited and it just made it a little bit better. Great news, at the end of Matt's ride, it broke down. So now we get to go straight up to the front and do a re-ride. So I get to ride twice. All right, all the rides in Star Wars area is done. Um, we are going to head to Tower of Terror, uh, which is at a 110 minute wait, but it's still so early. We're just gonna go ahead and knock it out. Maybe there's a single rider line. Um, so we're gonna knock out all the important rides first, and then we'll go back and explore and eat and do all that kind of stuff. We just wanna get it all done so we can really enjoy the atmosphere and the details that Disney has to offer here. If you don't get one of these bad boys, are you even at Disney, bro? There's the Tower of Terror, and all the way back here is the end of the line. We're gonna do it, though. About 15 minutes of waiting, and this is where the queue is looking like now. A lot of people coming for Tower of Terror.
is opening once again, and this time, it's opening for you. Hey, The Hollywood Hotel is still as terrifying as I remember it. I remember getting off as a kid and crying my eyes out. And Matt laughing the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> what a fun ride, man. I hope they never get rid of this thing like they did in California where it's now Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, I hope they keep this one forever. It's just such a classic. Now the next one on the list is Aerosmith's Rock and Roller Coaster. Wait time is posted at 80 minutes. Looks a lot longer than that, but it's going to be like a band-aid. We're doing all the rides now and we're just going to explore later. The theming of this ride is crazy. That's the entrance. And the guitar comes all the way. I'd say we've been in the line for about an hour and I'm finally able to see the door. Yeah, it's hot, man. But we finally got under some shaded area and they got some fans going. So, good, good. Hey, don't mind us. We finished in just a minute. Anyway. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. What's that? Hey, 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 hey. What are you guys still doing here? You were supposed to be at the show. We're working. Now. I'd like to introduce our lovely manager. Yeah, uh, she's usually not like this. Yeah, she's usually worse. I heard that. Where is my limo? Good. Okay, come on, guys. Please get her car. Sorry, folks. We gotta go. Chris, can you grab my black Les Paul? Get, get Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. What? We can't leave these people here like this. We can't? Oh, come on, you know how we feel about our fans. Yeah, yeah that's right. right. Well, guys, what do you expect me to do? Is send them all with you? Yeah, yeah. Right. Wait. wait a minute. I love that idea. How about some backstage passes? Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Come, on. Right. come on. Make it happen. Oh, Keep us on the deck. Okay, okay, okay. I'll make it happen. Right. Now get right. out of here. Make it a stretch. There's a lot of people in here. Mm -hmm. In fact, make it a super stretch. A lot of work. He never I goes. just got off Rock and Roller Coaster and it was the longest wait okay. of the day. But in my opinion, I love that ride more than anything. I think that was the most fun I've had on a ride today. Now back on Hollywood Boulevard. As you can see, it's a busy day at Hollywood Studios. All right, all done over there. Now the last major ride of the day is going to be Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. I've heard a lot of good things about this ride. I've never ridden it. Holy crap. <coughs> that looks like the line for it. That was the cue for Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. And we're doing it. 
All these people are waiting to ride it. Look at this. I've seen it about seven years. Floating in a sea of people. That's how you hydrate. This here Loki motive? Thanks! You'll be back in a jiffy to pick you all up! <laughs> okay, so I guess we're going into the cartoon. Looks like our cab is here. to the great movie ride.
we're in position. So this is where we've decided to eat lunch today. We got reservations at the Brown Derby. It's one of the higher end restaurants in Hollywood Studios and the menu looks amazing. And our reservation is in about four minutes. Here's the menu. So here's the menu at the Brown Derby. A um, little fun fact my brother just told me, uh, the owner or creator of the Brown Derby, Mr. Cobb, is actually the one who invented the Cobb salad. So I think it's only right that I ordered that. Uh, but I went ahead and added lobster to it. Um, and I'm also going to start with the lobster bisque because it's my favorite soup in the world and I just love it. But uh, I'm really excited for this meal. They start you out with bread and butter, but the butter also has red sea salt straight from Hawaii. Starting off with the lobster bisque. Got some tomatoes in there, a little chuck of lobster. And the Cobb salad. Got big lobster, lobster chunks in there. It's gonna be delicious, I can tell. All right guys, all done with lunch. I got some energy back in me. Uh, the sun kind of beat me up there for a minute, but I think I'm okay now after some water and some food. Now, when we were in line for Rock and Roller Coaster, uh, it turned one o'clock. And like I said before, um, the virtual queues for Rise of the Resistance release at 7 a.m. and then again at one o'clock. Now you're not supposed to be able to ride the ride twice in one day. But for some reason, I was able to get a spot in the virtual queue. Um, and my boarding group has just now been called, so I'm going to try to ride it again and just see what happens. So I'm on the way there now. Don't ask me how I did it, but I'm about to ride it for the second time today. That's supposed to never happen, but I'm walking through now. I just got, I scanned my magic band and I'm going in. I really don't know what I did. I, I don't know what to tell you about the secret or anything like that, but I'm riding it twice today. Maybe just a little bit of magic has been peppered on me. I don't know. All right, just got off my second ride of Rise of the Resistance, and I'll tell you what, man, it was much better the second time. Uh, the first time, I wanted to make sure you guys got to see it and uh, get the content for you. And then the second time, I was being a little selfish, and I just wanted to enjoy it for myself and really immerse myself in it. And it was great. Um, like I said before, the technology in that ride is, is stuff that I've never seen before, ever. 
Um, I can't wait to come back and do it again. Now I'm going to do a little bit of shopping, uh, get something for the girls and, and stuff like that. So that's all I'm going to do now. This place sure is detailed, right down to the T. This is the shop where you can build your own droid. You must have a reservation. I say, leave off the rep, old chap. You're a jolly good sport there. You stuck down there, bud? Hey, Jeannie. You know, I've never had a friend like you. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for us today. Shopping's all done. I got a bag full of pins. I'm a happy man. Um, yeah, we're all parked out. We're gonna go back to the hotel, maybe chill in the pool, relax in the hot tub. Um, but yeah, if you like the content, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, ring that bell. I love you. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace.